What's up there, YouTube friends? Scrumpy Gamer Dad here, and I just came back from a weekend at Disneyland. And of course, every time I go there, I have to buy pins, so I got bags of pins. Another bag of pins, bags of pins. That's a heavy bag of pins. Uh, so many pins. Actually, technically, three videos worth of pins. I don't know at what point all these are being released, but uh, there's a video for food and wine. <sighs> there's two pin videos, two. Uh, and then there's uh, going to be, um, like, I think, this this trip, I think, netted like seven videos. So um, stay tuned. More stuff's coming your way. So let's get into it. Let's do pins. Uh, it's very rare that I am down there for new pin releases. New pins are typically released on Thursdays at Disneyland. And I just happen to have shown up at Disneyland on Thursday. Uh, I did, however, miss the Windows of Magic or whatever pin. Uh, that was sold out in like an hour. But I got everything else that was released last Thursday. This first one is uh, it's technically limited release, right? Because this is a Disney Visa Rewards exclusive pin. You have to have a Disney Visa card, uh, debit or credit, to be able to get this. And those cards are available through Chase. Here's a closer look at that uh Disney Rewards Visa member uh, Steamboat Willie pin. Like I said, you see him jumping up in front of the castle, and it's got the little Disney Rewards 2019 down below. All right, so yeah, that was the only limited release pin there was. Uh, so next one up, and it's the Sleeping uh, Beauty 60th Anniversary pin. And so you've got uh, three, it, it's a hinge pin, so it opens up. What? And you've got the three fairies from Sleeping Beauty. Uh, 1999, limited edition of 4,000. Um, and then each of the pins has the gift that they presented Aurora. Here's that Sleeping Beauty hinge pin. Again, you've got the gift of beauty, and you open it up. The gift of true love. And then uh, the gift of song. I will zoom out here. There's the gift of song. That Sleeping Beauty pin was the only one that they had left available. They had had a big Sleeping Beauty 60th anniversary release. And yeah, I, I just happened to pick up that one. Uh, these next three pins are from an ongoing monthly series. Star Wars Helmet Series. You can't see it very well, but this is the Death Trooper, and I believe this was the, so the February release? Last release. We'll call it the last release. The uh, Death Trooper from Star Wars Rogue One. All right, here's that Star Wars helmet pin, the Death Trooper, but you've got it, it's hinged, so it will stand up. Um, prior to that one was this one here, the First Order Stormtrooper helmet. Um, I think that when I was there in January, I picked up the Shore Trooper and the Clone Trooper. First Order Stormtrooper pin. Uh, these were all, like I said, limited edition 4000. And the hinges open up. You can kind of see in the background there the Death Trooper, I think. This one was just released last Thursday. Uh, it's only a week old, and it was darn near sold out. The Boba Fett helmet. Uh, very cool. All these pins, uh, <clears throat> their little name tag here hinges so you could stand them up and display them. They are all limited edition of 4000 and they were all $17.99 each. And finally, you've got this Boa Fett pin here. Um, whoop. <laughs> the hinge doesn't want to open very well. You see me? There, there's my reflection on the camera. Uh, so I think honestly, this is about the only pin. If I hadn't already purchased some of these, this is probably the only pin I would want from this series. This is kind of cool. Maybe Darth Vader. All right, this next one is a quarterly release. Uh, it means every three months, and it's an annual pass holder exclusive. It's a train, uh, the trains of Disneyland. You've got Mickey Mouse, and he's on what would be the coal wagon. I would the coal car. Of the train and a little quote from Walt there it was $17.99 it was released last Thursday as well and uh, it is an LE 3000 here is that Mickey Mouse uh, annual pass holder 
limited edition train pin. You've got, again, Mickey on the little coal car. And this one is another quote from Walt that says, When you believe a thing, believe it all over, implicitly and unquestioningly. Um, <clears throat> I like this. You see the little hook here? Because this pin will connect to the previous month's pin. Much like a train would. All right, next up we've got this one. It was a recent release. Again, it's a monthly series. Uh, the I Heart Gaming. You've got certain characters from the 90s in this like handheld video game console. I Heart Gaming, monthly release. This one, it's pin on pin, and you've got Ariel, the Little Mermaid in there. This one is a limited edition of 2500 for $17.99 in the park. Here's the uh, I Heart Gaming Little Mermaid pin. Um, if you move it just right, her arm moves, I think. It's kind of hard to see, but there, her arm's down and her tail's down. So it looks like she's swimming. Finally, this last one was uh, released last week as well. I was so excited. Like four releases, actually technically five releases last Thursday on the, what, March 28th. And I managed to score three of them. Um, the the other one, like I said, the Windows of Magic, Hercules, gone. Gone! I saw people lined up at like dark. Uh, three hours before the park opened, they were lined up and it was gone in an hour. Um crazy what's up with that this one was cool just happened to coincide with the release of the dumbo movie which i have yet to see so don't spoil it <laughs> um this is a a series i believe it's a monthly series uh might be by monthly but it's called crests of the kingdom and it's a hinge pin so it flips open and there's dumbo with timothy riding on his head this was a limited edition of 2000 and it was also $17.99. Of course, with all these pins, the annual pass holder discount of 20% applies, um, or whatever your pass holder discount rate is. All right, and then this is the last pin here. This is that Dumbo uh, Crests of the Kingdom pin. Uh, you've got something here in Latin. This is Volantum Elefante, which, if I remember Latin, means... Beware of the exploding elephants. <laughs> Probably not. I like how this is like a pewter color on the outside, and then you open it up, and boom, it's color. Woo! Very cool little pin. Anyway, that's all the, that I have, all the time I have for this video. Like I said, this is part one of two, the pins of Disneyland um, that I picked up last week. Stay tuned. Um, there's uh, bad dad jokes after the snap. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Grumpy Gamer Dad. Until next time, this is Grumpy Gamer Dad saying, stick around for more Disney pins. Congratulations, you survived the snap. Uh, yes, you're still here, and the survivors of Thanos' snap. Get bad dad jokes. I don't know what we're going to do after uh, Endgame comes out next month. Um, bad dad jokes will still continue, but uh, the snap uh, won't make much sense anymore, will it? Or, or not? I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, bad dad jokes. So, for part one of my video here, I've got a few choice morsels for you. What did one toilet roll say to the other toilet roll? People keep ripping me off. You know, you can go a lot of ways with that one. You know, I'm tired of getting crapped on, whatever. Uh, I'm just saying. Why did the Witches team lose the baseball game? This is kind of relevant because baseball just started this week. Their bats flew away. Aww. All right, and the last bad dad joke for this episode is... Why did the old woman put roller skates on her rocking chair? Because she wanted to rock and roll. No! <sighs>